Welcome to AminAcademy.com in thermodynamics process. Let us do some solving problems. Look at this example. In an IC engine, during the compression stroke, the heat rejection to the cooling water is 60 kg per kilojoule per kg, and the work input is 130 kilojoule per kg. Calculate the change in internal energy of the working fluid stating whether it is gain or loss. Look at here. Here, heat rejected to the cooling water. First, heat rejected to the cooling water, which is equal Q equal minus 60 minus 60 kilojoule per second kilojoule per kg minus sign is for heat reduction then work input work input equal this W equal minus 130 kilojoule per kg. Here also heat is supplied, so negative. This 130 kilojoule per kg. This is 130. Then the relation. The relation is Q. It is equal U2 minus U1 change in internal energy plus work than W. Here Q equal minus 60 equal U2 minus U1 work input is 130. So substituting these values Q and W. Now from this can write u2 minus u1 is equal minus 60 plus 130 is equal 90 kilojoule per kg. So gain in internal energy. Gain in because it's gain, because positive gain in internal is equal 90 kilojoule per kg. Next question. Look at here. Air enters a compressor at 10.45 Pascal and 25 degree Celsius having volume 2.5 meter cube per kg and is compressed to 6 into 10.45 Pascal isothermally. Determine work done, change in internal energy, heat transfer. Here, air compressor is given. Look at here. For this, Isothermal process. First of all, you write that given things. Initial air pressure. First, P1. Initial P1 equal 10 for 5, 10 for 5 Pascal. That is P1. Then final pressure, final air pressure, P2 equal to 6 into 10 power 5 Pascal. Temperature, initial temperature,
initial temperature T1 is equal 25 degree plus 273 percent Kelvin to 98 degree Kelvin. Here T2 equal to T1 because it's isothermal. Both temperatures are same. Now, since it is closed steady state process, we can write down the first law of thermodynamics that is Q equal U2 minus U1 plus W per kg. Now, here work done 1 to 2, work path 1 to 2 is integral 1 to 2 PdV, which is equal P1 V1 log E P1 by P2. Here, for isothermal process, this is expression. Work done is P1 V1 log E P1 by P2. Now, which is equal further because here T1 and T2 are equal, therefore P1 V1, P1 V1 by T1 is equal to P2 V2 by T2. Here both are cut because both temperatures are same. Then we can put the values. Then for pi P1 into V1 is 2.5 meter cube per 2.5 but here volume is 2.5 meter cube per kg into log E over 1 into 10 power 5 over 6 into 10 power 5. Here, by using this relation, we are having, by using the calculator, we have minus 447.9 kilojoule joule per per kg kilojoule per that is we got first one work done this is work done per kg then since temperature is a constant because uh, isothermal, change in internal energy is zero. Since isothermal process, temperature is constant, then change in internal energy that is U2 minus U1 equal to zero. That the second part of the answer, then heat transfer again heat transfer is equal to that is Q 1 to 2 is equal U2 minus U1 plus W, which is equal 0 plus what then is minus 447.94. Minus 447.94, which is equal minus 447.94. Therefore, heat rejected.
8 rejected is minus 8 rejected. We are using minus as 8 rejected. Therefore, 4, 4, 7.94 kilojoule. Next question. Look at here. A power developed by a turbine in a certain steam plant is 1400 kilowatt. The heat supplied to the steam in the boiler is 3500 kilojoule per kg. The heat rejected by the system to the cooling water and the condenser is 2600 kilojoule per kg. And the feed pump work required to pump the condenser back into the boiler is 8 kilowatt required for heat pump. Calculate the steam flow around the cycle, that is heat flows per second, how much rate of heat flow you have to find. Look at this. In this first, first you have to find, uh, write the given things. The power developed by the turbine. The power developed by power developed by the turbine is one thousand four hundred kilowatt. Heat supplied to the boiler. Heat supplied to the boiler. 3500 kilojoule per kg. 3500 kilojoule per kg. The heat projected to the Heat rejected to the condenser equal to cooling water uh, condenser condenser or cooling water is here two thousand six hundred. Same kilojoule per kg. Then next is feed pump work. Eight kilowatt. Now first. A boundary is shown which encompasses the certain plant. Strictly, the boundary should be brought as an encompassing working free only. So, DQ, integral DQ is equal 3500 minus rate rejection 2600. Here, 3500 heat supply minus heat rejected 2600, which is equal 900 kilojoule per kg. Now, we know that integral dq is that is heat rejected. 900 into mass per second m, m dot mass per second per second supply that is uh, mass of the steam supplied per second is m dot we let this become kilojoule per kilojoule per second now work done dw Integral DW is 1400 here 
power divider 1400 kilowatt minus heat supply to the work, uh, power supply to the heat pump that is equal 8 so which is equal network done is 1392 Uh, 1,992 kilojoule per second. Plus kilowatt. Kilojoule per second is same as kilowatt. So here, dQ integral dQ is equal to dW. Heat supply, heat total heat is equal heat supplied minus uh, heat rejected is equal to work done. So, which is equal 900 into m dot equal 1392. Both are equated and m dot 1392 over 900 which is equal 1.547 kilo kg per second. Therefore, you can say heat uh, steam flow around the circuit. Therefore, steam flow rate steam flow rate through the cycle through the complete cycle is equal 1.547 kilojoule per second. That means Per second, 1.547 kg of uh, steam should be supplied to maintain the power. Power to maintain the power production. So far, we discussed uh, nice problems regarding thermodynamic process close to system. If you have done, please subscribe our YouTube channel.